Are you using Ableton Live on stage for clicks and backing tracks? Well, if so, I wanna show you how you can use only your computer's keyboard to navigate and control your live set. Okay, so I've got my Ableton Live set open. I've got multiple songs in my set. I've basically built my set out so that I can use this on stage, again, for clicks and tracks. But uh, I wanna be able to have access to each of the individual songs in my set. I wanna be able to, to have some freedom and flexibility. I wanna show you how to do all of that, again, using only your computer's keyboard. You don't have to go and buy a MIDI controller to do this. So let's go into Ableton Live and talk about the very first step. So the first thing we need to do is add a locator for each one of our songs. So if I zoom in here to the beginning of my very first song, this is called a better word, I'm gonna move my mouse above my song here in what's called the scrub area. You'll see a speaker icon and I'm gonna right click and choose add locator. Now you can add a couple different things here. Um, I typically add the song's name. Sometimes I'll just leave it set to one so that I know it's song number one in the set. But in this case, I'm gonna do one and then I'm going to add a dash and a space and I'm gonna just call this a better word okay so we'll type that in so i have that song now we're not going to do our full set just for the sake of time but let me scroll and do let's do maybe two three more songs in our ableton set so we'll zoom out here and we'll zoom back in at the start of this song here same exact thing we're going to put our mouse uh, hover our mouse in the scrub area do add locator we'll do two uh we'll do a dash here and then do space and we'll do this song okay and let's do, uh, again, let's maybe do two more, okay? So we'll follow the same exact process. Uh, you can see this song here has a time signature change. Uh, I'll link to a video in the description to show you how to add time signature changes to your set. It's way easier than you think. But we'll right click here, we'll do add locator. We'll do three, again. Okay, I think that's it for now. So we've got three songs with locators at the beginning of our live set. Let's talk about, again, how to navigate and get access to each of these using only our computer's keyboard. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back into live, and what I wanna do is let's go to our first song here. Okay, so we'll go all the way to the beginning. There it is, song number one. And I wanna go to the upper right-hand corner of my live screen where it says key, and I'm gonna click on this. Now, as a pro tip, if you like using computer shortcuts, which you should, on a Mac, you can do Command K, and that's gonna get you into key assign mode on a PC, Windows PC, you can do Control K to get access to this mode. And here's how cool this is. I can click this locator, and I can press one to get access to song one. Now we can scroll all the way over here, we'll click this locator, we'll click two to get access to song two, and then we'll scroll over here and click three to get access to song three. Now I wanna point something out that's super important. What's really nice about the way that I set this set up is if I just basically let this run. So if I just press play, song one would automatically go to song two, song two would automatically go to song three. But with what we just did here, I can, instead of doing that, I can press song two press space bar and start automatically from that portion of my song. So let's take a look at how to make that happen. So first we need to get out of key assign mode. So again, we'll go up here, upper right hand corner and click key. Or again, as a reminder, command K, control K if we're on a PC to get out of this mode. So now let's talk about how to use this practically. Again, if I wanna start at the beginning of my set, I'll press one to go to song one, press space bar to start live's playback. Let's jump automatically to song three, okay? So let's press three on our keyboard, press space bar. You see, we jump automatically to song three. So that's a really nice, simple, easy way to navigate our set. But again, I started this tutorial talking about freedom and flexibility. How can I use this same concept to have freedom and flexibility with my songs? Well, let's go back, uh, let's see, let's go to song two here and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So we'll jump to song two. Um, let's say that I know I want to do this turnaround and I uh, want to jump to it from the intro. I, I know that's kind of a weird request, but just, just go with me. Okay, so we're gonna go to this turn. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the intro here, but on this turn, I'm gonna right click, do add locator, okay, and we'll call this turn one. Now, in order to make sure YouTube doesn't fuss at me, I'm gonna just solo our click here. I know that's no fun because you don't get to hear the music, but you know, YouTube is no fun sometimes. So uh, we're gonna go to turn one. We're gonna do the same thing, Command K. Again, Control K if you're on a PC, or you could just click the key assign button in the upper right hand corner. We're gonna click turn here. Now I need to come up with uh, some button on my key, some key on my keyboard uh, to assign this to. So turn one, uh, I'm gonna pick T, right? You know, who would have guessed it? So we're gonna click this, we're gonna type T on our keyboard. Now uh, let's get out of this again. In command K. Let me show you how this works. So this is song two, so I'm gonna press two on my keyboard to go to song two. I'm gonna press space bar to start it. 
And then if you'll notice, we have this one bar set up here. So I'm gonna do any time in a bar before we hear the next one. So there's one, okay, I'm gonna press T and then boom, we jump right to our turn. So what's really cool about that is if I do that in that bar before I get to that next one, because of this feature up here, global quantization, that's gonna lock it into the grid and it's gonna jump to that section um, right at the beginning of the next section. So you could be in the middle of an intro you could get a signal from the artist you're working with, uh, the person out front, maybe the music director that says, okay, let's do that again, or let's jump to the turn section. I don't know, maybe that's a T timeout, whatever the hand signal is to get you to turn. You get that, that signal, and any time in that measure, you hit T to jump to that song section. Now, that's nice, but there's actually a better and easier way to have freedom and flexibility and flow in your live set. And I wanna show you how to do that next, but before I do, please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon. I post a brand new tutorial every single day, sometimes beginner and intro tutorials like this to show you how to have more freedom and flexibility on stage when performing with tracks, and sometimes it's a little more complex. But whether you're a beginner or a seasoned pro, uh, from studio to stage is the place for you. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. So let's go back into our Ableton Live set. Now now for the sake of time, I'm not gonna do this for everything, but what I'm gonna do is click here, do add locator, and I'm just gonna add locators for each of my song sections. So let's go here, let's scroll into this. You'll notice I'm adding locators, I'm not naming them though. The reason I'm not naming them is because I've already got the names for those song sections here. That's in what I call a markers track. If you want access to a markers track like this and to see how I formatted my full song this way, then head to fromstudiostage.com slash template and download my free tracks template where you can get started uh, and you can use a template that looks exactly like this to format your songs really quickly and get tons of freedom and flexibility. So let's just do a couple more song sections here for the sake of time. Let's do verse. We'll add that locator. And again, you see I'm doing the same exact thing, add locator, we'll press return to, to add that in. Okay, so I've got uh, just a couple locators here. You're gonna add locators to each of your song sections in your song to match those up. Uh, Ableton can even add them automatically for you, but uh, we'll talk about that maybe in a future tutorial. Uh, but I've got my set kind of ready to go. Now let's talk about the key things that I wanna map. Instead of going and mapping to individual song sections, let me show you how I can map keys to really just two other features that are gonna give us all the freedom and flexibility we need in our live set. So let's go here again, I'm gonna go up to key. We're gonna delete this T because I don't need this in this case. And we're gonna click this previous button here and um, we're gonna do, let's say, repeat, okay? And then we're gonna go to this one, so I'm gonna click R to stand for repeat. Let's click this next one, and let's say in for next, okay? And I'll do Command K, again, Control K if you're on a PC, to get out of key assign mode. Now, essentially what I have is I have my songs map, so one for song one, two for song two, three for song three, but now I have R for repeat, and in for next mapped, mapped to my keyboard. So here's really what's really, really cool. Let's go back to our live set. Let's press two to select song two. And I know you're just hearing this through my microphone. It's not connected to uh, the interface so you can hear it. That's perfectly fine. But let's press space bar. And now let's jump from this section, uh, a couple sections. So I'm gonna hit next. Okay, so in is next. Okay, and listen for one. Okay, let's go straight to our chorus, boom. Okay, so we jump to our chorus within a measure and I just hit next the amount of times that I needed to jump to that section and it jumped me directly to that section. But what about repeating? Let's go back to our example before. We were going to our turn here. This is something really practically that happens with artists. Let's say we're in our turn. Let's zoom in here. Okay, so you can see this. All right, so we're gonna get there. I'm gonna hover over R. I'm in the last measure of this section, I pressed R, and that's gonna repeat me back to that section. So it's gonna jump back to that locator, uh, but it's gonna wait to the next downbeat of one, so it's timed out perfect. Uh, it's perfectly on the grid, and so when I jump back, it's gonna jump back and repeat that section, but again, it's gonna do it perfectly in time. Now, it's possible after watching this, you've got some questions. How do I do this with a MIDI controller? Um, how could I do the same exact process just using four buttons on my, my MIDI controller? What do I do if I uh, need to, to have a guide cue? How do I get the guide cue to repeat? Will, you mentioned earlier, how can we have Ableton Live automatically add locators to our live set? Well, to see all of that and more, you've got to hit subscribe. And I'm gonna link to some tutorials, in fact, a playlist full of tutorials showing you how to run tracks, where I'm gonna show you how to do all those things I mentioned, 
Plus, I'm gonna show you how to use my free tracks template uh, to format your songs in a way that gives you stability, that's flexible and gives you freedom, but most importantly of all, is it gonna take hours and hours of work to do? So you may have watched that and go, well, this is really, really cool, but I'm seeing you add these locators. That's gonna take forever. I don't have time to do that. Well, if you follow a proven process, it's not gonna take you hours. Head to fromstudiostage.com slash template to download my template. And then number two, click the subscribe button to this channel to subscribe, enable the bell icon so you see when I go live. Again, I post a brand new tutorial every single day. And when you watch those tutorials and you download that free track template, you're gonna have the most freedom and flexibility you've ever had in Ableton Live and you're not gonna spend hours to do it. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Take care everybody, bye.